G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. We are here today with you, the ultimate beginner's guide on how to use structured debug. Very, very simple process, eh, Mr. James? Oh, so easy, so, so easy. <laughs> You're going to notice we're both sounding a little bit nasally at the moment. Yeah. I think we're yeah. both getting sick at the same time. I think it's the change in weather. It's just basically turned from summer to winter. And we're both feeling, feeling a little bit under the weather, so we're going to try to do this as best as possible. This, ha this happens when you're married. Yeah, yeah. Even <laughs> though we don't live any, well, not anywhere near, but we live pretty far away from each other, so we're not actually going to get sick from each other, but just happen to happen at the exact same time, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's get stuck into it. The first thing we need to do is, if you don't know how to use Cheat Stick, we're going to show you right now how to get into console commands. So all you got to do is have nothing on your screen and just start typing cheat stick or lowercase or hit your enter key for me and just start typing cheat stick or lowercase. Learn how to spell though first. <laughs> Not the worst. All lowercase cheat stick, hit enter. That will enable the console commands to come up. Once you've done all that, hit your F1 key for me. And that's going to bring up a whole bunch of commands that you could use in the game. But what we want to do is activate the structure debug. So all you got to do is type in toggle. Once you've got toggle, you'll see toggle go. Don't worry about the go part. Just hit ST for structure. It'll bring up a big, long, big, long word there. So it's, uh, resistance structure debug. All lowercase. Just hit tab over. That'll move it over and hit on. We are now in the debug program and you're going to start seeing letters, numbers and all sorts of stuff on your on your screen here. So we've got a couple of scenarios up here, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a house here. It's six by seven. So that's a, a larger house than normal. So everyone should know a five by five house will not require any structure debug, but anything larger will. So we've got a couple of scenarios we're going to be doing. We've got the house. We're going to do a bridge. And if we get time, we might even just do like an outdoor outdoor patio area. If anyone's seen the video yesterday on the cliff build, you'll you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Well, that's the hard part done. So you're going to see down there a whole bunch of different ones. I'm going to really stress this to everybody. Structured debug can be quite buggy. So I want you to be pre-warned before trying this. You have the chance of things messing up on your build so really do this at your own risk i am not liable for your building collapsing <laughs> straight up i am not liable for it this is part of the game i'm just giving you the tools you don't have to use them but <laughs> it's a it, it's a fantastic tool but yeah. every now and then you will find that you'll be running into some bugs it's very evil very it, evil. It, it can be annoying and it can be really, really cool because you could do massive structures like what we do. Basically unlocks all the potential you have in your brain. So a lot of people are really stuck with that five by five mentality. And this will really, really open it up for you so you can make some massive, massive structures. All right, so let's have a quick look what we're going to be doing. James, let's quickly build out a... Uh, what do you call it? A beam thing. Yep. yep. All right, yep. so we're going to go as far as even supporting it. Now, with the structure debug, you don't actually require to support it anymore. But we're still going to do it anyway to show you that even though you have the supports, you're going to find a scenario like that one right there. You cannot move it because it's past the five by five. So I believe that's six this way, seven the other way. Yep. Yep. Now we're going to be locked here. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing because it's just too big. So what we're going to do here, uh, James, I'll get you to just quickly keep going and finish off that part there for me, please, because we're going to move over to the stairs very shortly as well. Yep. Okay. Keep in mind, just leave a gap for the stair area, please. Yep. Okay, so what we got here, look for the the pillar, the beam, the wall, whichever you're looking for. You'll see it's the only one that's not going to be moving around because that's the one you're focusing on. 
So if everyone sees that one there, it's pillar 2577. If you can't see that, take my word for it. That's what it says. Um, so what we need to do now is hit your F1 key again. Start typing destroy. It'll come up after you hit DE. Hit tab, space. Now, exactly the way you see it there is the way you got to do it. So it's only the top line you need to worry about. So what I'm going to be uh, getting rid of is this pillar. So capital P, just make sure you do it with capital. Otherwise, it will not work. Pillar 2577. Once you have that there, make sure there's no space after pillar, but make sure there is a space after destroy. Destroy doesn't need to be in capitals either. So we're just going to hit enter. That will fully remove it. Now, keep in mind, if you do have other people on your server, they will not see that that pillar has been moved or removed, sorry, until they hop out of the game and hop back into it. So a lot of times when James and I are building, right, I'll be debugging because only the server host can debug, unfortunately. Oh, that one is staying there. No one else will be able to see you remove any of this sort of stuff except for you until they hop out. But that is the price you got to pay when you're working with other people. So we're going to remove this one one more time. So we're going to go destroy, space, pillar, capital P. And then we're going to find the number, which is 2581. 81, remove. And that's as simple as that. So what we're going to do is quickly finish this part off here. We're going to move over to the staircase. We'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so we got our basic structure up now so we're going to be showing you a couple other things that you could debug now don't necessarily need to debug these ones a lot of these will move out but sometimes you'll be locked in because you're too far out because we're pretty close we got these here that's not too bad so they're going to be sort of floating ones a lot of time you could just debug them but what you want to do let's quickly go upstairs uh let's finish this part here because sometimes this will need to be debugged um, this doesn't even want a bar of us. No, oh, that one does. That one does not. Yeah. Okay. Give yeah, me a... Now it will. Now it will. No, it won't. Oh. This great. game. Oh. No. Just double logged. Yeah, this will happen sometimes. That's why debug really becomes helpful. Okay, let's put one there. Ah, weird. That doesn't want to at all come across. Does it make a difference if you take out one or two stairs? I'm going to take out all the stairs and see if that makes any difference. Okay. Nope. All right, when that happens, Probably better to redo this again. Put a couple of stairs. Nah, still, still broken. Wow. Still broken. We haven't even done anything yet. No, no. <laughs> That's how this building goes. We're going to show you the way where you used to be able to set up stairs. Remember back in the good old days where you could be able to yep. just put stairs in between this? We can't do that anymore because End Night doesn't like us having fun. <laughs> or making things easy for ourselves. Yes, exactly. So this works with stone. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this with stone just to show you that you can do it. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a nice little stone staircase here. We'll remove that as we always do. What I like to do is just... Put down a couple of stone like that first. Just to show you this will work like this. I'm going to put some stone in here real quick as well. Like that. Okay. Right. You got that down there? Now we can put our stairs in. We're going to put a log there. We're going to put our stairs there. And normally from here you're able to sort of build across, close this up, but it won't let you anymore because of the stairs there. And when you try to fill this in, 
it'll get you to that point only and you can't do any more so what we're going to show you now is how to debug it so we're going to look for the point and it's rock beam 751 so we're going to destroy rock capital r capital b for beam 751 that removes that which also keeps your stairs floating so in theory, if you really wanted to right now, you do not need to put any more rocks there. You got yourself a floating staircase. But for the fact of the video is we're going to show you. Done. Your stairs are built in. Everyone's happy. So we'll quickly go and show you another one real quick as well. So you could debug walls, complete walls. Now it doesn't matter if it's a rock wall or a stone wall, um, log wall, doesn't matter. Destroy rock wall 654 that will remove an entire wall so that's the same if you use the the wood well wow. yep best way to do your stairs built in so a lot of people like to do that say for instance you've got a big old i don't know three-story four-story whatever building uh. and you want to do it between between rocks like you used to be able to that's the only yeah. way to do it now all right, so the next part we're going to be showing you is how to open up your roof. So for that, we're going to need to finish off this roof bit here. Back in a second. All righty, so we built our roof, and we want to open it right up. This is where it gets fun, because nothing better than a big open roof, especially if you've got a nice big open, uh, big open house. So you can't remove those ones. Everyone can see these ones cannot be removed because they will be stuck. Can't do anything about it. But to remove everything below it, we still need to remove all these ones. So I don't know why these ones came out, but this one didn't. But that's just how this game works. So we're going to quickly go and debug all these ones here. Two seven one. Roy Pillar. Two seven one five. Make sure you don't debug the wrong one for. <laughs> whatever you do you debug the wrong one sometimes you'll debug it from some other part of the house that you don't want it to do it from so be careful I've done it so many times before okay so that's all good would you like to try uh, start breaking down James please yep yep oh you can't see what I've done eh no dang I've got to wait yeah. to... I had a couple of X's like I've got floating yeah. stuff here as well Yep, okay. Two seven one one. Oh, two seven one zero. Okay, one more to go. Two seven zero nine. Okay. That will now allow you to move everything below it. Keep in mind that um, doing this won't uh, less than your value, the, the build isn't going to fall down on you to it. Uh, so, uh. What's wrong, Jabs? Oh, there's a couple of ones uh, just bouncing on me. Yeah. So we'll have to do the exact same thing Yeah. down below here. Let's quickly yep. do that back in a second. There you have it. All fully opened up. Nicely supported. Don't need to worry about it falling down on you because the game still recognizes the beams there. It just... You just can't see it and it's not in the way and it'll allow you to remove everything from it. So that's pretty much how you do a big open roof. Very, very simple stuff. All right. We're going to move over to the bridge. We're going to quickly just finish filling these um, planks in because an unfinished build is... Just aggravating. We're back in a second. Alrighty. Roof is done. We're going to quickly do a bridge here for you. What sort of bridge shall we do, James? Well, we want to keep it... We... Hello, James. Yeah, right. You there? Yeah, it keeps dropping out. Yeah. He's on a way out, mate. Your headphones? Uh... Okay, hang on a second. 
Alrighty, so the house is done. So now we're going to do the same sort of thing, but we're going to do it on a bridge this time. I wonder if we could, James, do... Yeah. Let's get let's get this thing across first. How about that? Okay, all right. Let's get this whole thing across quickly. Oops. Yep. Now we're about to drop in elevation here, which... Yep, okay. So I'm right. going to chop... Yeah, I'm going to chop that down to... Half. Halfy. And I'm just going to bring that up. Beautiful. From there, we can now carry over. Oh, maybe not. Something's not right here. Hang on. Let me just rebuild this bit here. That's better. Cool. All good. All good. I'm gonna go doubles. Basically double high. Yep. Alright. We're gonna get this bridge done real quick. Back in a second. Alrighty. We got our basic bridge done. Nice and easy. Can't get much more basic than that. It's pretty <laughs> simple. So what we're gonna do now. Same sort of uh, situation when you're in the house. You're removing pillars. What I probably should have mentioned before when doing this sort of stuff... We want to keep the logs or the beams running in one direction only without joining. This will lessen the amount you will need a debug. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so usually what I want to do is put a half log. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, it doesn't allow me to do this again. This build is funny, eh? So normally we're going to be able to put a, a support beam right yeah, yeah. in between there and there but for some reason it's only allowing me to do it there so yeah i've got the same yeah, same same on, same on this one this side well but that's okay because we're using debug this is the whole point yeah. so let's just remove as much as you can so usually every third or fourth you're going to be able to remove and then all lock so it's yeah it's a bit funny eh Sometimes more, sometimes less. So, yeah, sometimes every second one you can only remove. Yeah. Like, this one's not even allowing me to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every second or third. Okay. Yeah. It's alright. That's what makes this... Okay. There we go. That's it. That's everything that we can remove. So once again, we're going to go through real quick and we're going to remove everything that's not necessary. I'm going to leave these ones here because normally what I would do in this case is probably get a log and fill those in to give it a little bit of structure and probably do the same at the back here. Oh, gosh. Doesn't always work out the way you want with this game, but you know how it is. Ah, okay, whatever. Just doesn't like me. You've right. been getting that a lot, haven't you? Uh, it's because I'm just I'm trying to do everything too fast. If I took my time a little bit, it probably wouldn't happen as often. So we're going to go through, destroy. Oops. Pillar. What is it? Uh, 2858. Five, nope. Wrong one. I just removed the one behind it. So that's why it's going to be very, very important that you make sure you select the right beam, or the right pillar, or the right strut. 2859. There we go. And we're just basically going to continue doing that throughout the whole thing. Was there anything else, James, that uh, Structure Debug required us to do? Um, the other things that people may want to see. We've done stairs. We've done uh, roof. Um, the same concept did everything. Um. And bridges uh, is a um, a distance debug, so you you're naturally uh, getting rid of stuff. So um, over large spans. Mm -hmm. um, well, this will just basically allow you to build infinite infinity infinity. That's not a word. Yeah, it is a every, word, but it's not. 
Infinitely is the word I'm looking for. So if yeah. you want to make a hundred by one hundred, good luck by the way. Structure. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. able to do so now because of debug. I am not with it. I'm not feeling the greatest day. I yeah. think I'm gonna to have to have an early one tonight and hopefully recover from this damn cold or flu, whatever's coming on me right now. But anyway, we kind of yeah. get the point. This is sort of what we're going to be looking at. This just allows you to build whatever your heart desires. So if no one's ever used debug before, get stuck into it. Don't Maybe don't do it on your your primary no, build. You, yeah. yeah. Maybe just when you're first starting out, I would probably recommend just getting like a, just a random, just start a brand new server, build something random like a bridge or something like that, and do a little bit of practice before you get stuck into your main build. When I first started, I think um, Third Access was actually the first yeah. person to um, get me onto the debug thing. Yeah. And the first time I did it, I made some mistakes. I pulled out things that I shouldn't have and I couldn't replace it. And it kind of ruined the build a little bit, but... You know, you live and learn with these sort of things. So, yeah, probably recommend for your first one, just do a little practice server, do a little playing around, see what you can do, all that sort of stuff. That's about was, it, eh, James? I was just going to mention uh, one of the the main things that uh, debug can hinder is lights. Right, yeah. Yeah, you can go in, you, you'll have the lights all set up, and uh, work at 100%, then you'll leave and come back into it next time, and your lights won't be on. That, These I are... think, happens when you remove a pillar um, and you already got wiring running through it. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, so for instance, if we go right here and we're going to have some wiring and some lights coming through there, I remove this pillar. For some reason, that's where you get the problem. Yeah. So maybe hold off on your wiring until after you remove all your pillars. Unlike what we do is, well, we just kind of do a bit of both. But that may not necessarily be the problem. But I know for a fact, sometimes, not all the time, and it depends. Sometimes it's only portions of your house or portions of the area yeah. that you're working on that will yeah. affect it. But, uh, yeah, James is right. Sometimes you'll have an issue where the wiring will just need to be detached and reattached and it'll start working fine again. It's some, it usually as simple as that. Yeah. But diagnosing I, the area or the problem can be a bit tricky. Yeah. Another uh, trick, trick to the trade with debug is if you're going to – if you know you're going to fully well debug your roof, okay – Put all your roof, your planks on the house first. Yes, something we didn't show you earlier, 100%. Do your planks first. We only left it open because we wanted a bit more light to come through. But, yeah, yeah definitely 100%. Do your planks first when you're doing the roof. Then go and do your pillars and your beams and your struts or whatever. Otherwise, you will have issues, not always, but sometimes, where you cannot place a plank. It happens from time to time. So like I said, debug is not perfect in any way, shape, or form. It allows you to do a lot of cool shit, but it does come with its problems every now and then. So be yeah. wary of it. Just pre-warning everybody because we've come across a lot of problems in the past. Yeah. But you usually could fix the problem. That's a good yeah. thing. So if that ever happens to you, the easiest thing to do is just tear down the area and rebuild it. That's basically what we had to do on this one here. Yeah, There's yeah. portions that just wouldn't fill in, so we just tore it up, replaced the beams, put it back, good as gold. Yeah. So, yeah, keep that right. in mind as well. Yeah, it's a good point, James. Yeah. Anything else, dude? No, I think that's it, Chris. That's it, mate? All right, beautiful. Yeah. We're going to continue finishing debug this, do a thumbnail, all that sort of jazz, and this video should be up very, very shortly for everyone to watch and hopefully enjoy if you learned anything, please let me know down in the comments. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask us anytime. Leave a comment, jump in the Discord. We're usually happy to help with anybody that needs a hand, especially James. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he's always <laughs> available. Yeah. Well, not yeah. always, but you know what I mean. Like, 
he's more available than I am, but he's also very, very helpful. So he's yeah. usually pretty good with the good with a lot of people that have come through that need a bit of a hand. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. We're going to leave it, eh? Yep. Lovely. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully this was helpful again. If you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.